Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are taking a look at the cost and earnings of the Black Miner F1 Mini. It arrived here on the 6th of May and I'm taking Sunday the 14th of July as snapshot day for the earnings. So around two months and one week later. But first let's discuss costs. So the FPGA board and controller cost me $179 and I paid $58 for shipping, which is the same as other European folks I know paid for it. To that we have to add 20 euro, so around $22 import tax I had to pay at the door. As you know from previous videos, you also need a cooler, so you'd have to add another 10 to 30 bucks to this calculation if you don't have one lying around. I did, so I leave it out of my personal calculation so that is what we have to earn back i always pay with mine crypto when i'm expanding my little farm so as you know the bitcoin amount is more important to me than the actual dollar amount but let's get on to the earnings first things first yes there are secret algorithms for the F1 Mini. Secret means that the actual name of the algorithm is only disclosed to confirmed customers. Why do they do that? Well, honestly, words like ASIC and FPGA resistance are only buzzwords cryptocurrencies use to pull GPU miners in. Everything is resistant until it isn't. And smaller coin projects actually got paranoid when they saw the FPGAs mining on it and started to discuss forks. So, hash altcoin, the company producing the different F1 machines, tried to keep it low key for their customers. You might think this is unfair, but for a change we have a company looking out for their customers and not for themselves like many others we know. <coughs> Bitmain. <coughs> so I absolutely respect that. Here a shout out to GLC Freitas and if you are Portuguese and interested in tech please give him a visit on his pages below. He also shared his earnings with with me and he got his f1 mini at the same time i did this helps us to show how different earnings can be because you just have so many possibilities with the little machine that out of the way what i mined was a secret algo before but now it is shown as plain text in the download section so i feel that i can talk freely about it for the first few days i was mining various coin with my f1 mini and then switched to what they called algo 6. <laughs> Actually, we are talking about the GPU-only V2 algorithm. GLC Freitas was purely mining Veros, and here we can see large differences. On the right, you see the portfolio of what I mined, circling through the values. And on the left, you see a portfolio I made on the data I got from our Portuguese friend. I'd say both numbers are great for a small FPGA, which only costs you 50 watts power consumption. You might say never ROI, but again, we are not discussing an ASIC. Hash altcoin are still bringing new algorithms to the table, and they work to perfect their machines. No ASIC manufacturer does that. While recording this script, Algo 10 came out for the little machine, which I'm yet to test out. So to end things, both portfolios together again on the screen with all the initial costs as well. I'm totally satisfied with that, but still bite myself in the behind that I did not get a second one. There are so many possibilities of what to mine that the machine in itself is a bit of gambling since you just never know. I personally don't go for the most profitable of the day, rather projects I actually managed to do some reading on. But honestly, there are just many, many possibilities. Lastly, some folks were confused because of the large earning numbers you can see on the manufacturer's homepage. But please mind that these are for the bigger machines. So the F1 has 12 chips, the F1 Plus has 18 chips. So you can calculate your little mini with one chip at either 112 or 118 of the numbers. So F1 Mini owners unite! What have you folks been mining and are you willing to share some data? Have any of you already tried to overclock the little thing? You can set frequencies similar than with ASICs, but to be honest, I've not touched it yet. If you'd like to see a video or experiments of this, I'd of course be more than willing to do so. That's already it. Thank you all for tuning in again. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.